This is a dissection of the internal structures of a cow eye. This is the posterior half of the eyeball. This folded beige layer is the retina. I folded it back so we could look at the structures that are deeper to it. What you can see here is a black layer. In the cow, there's a fluorescent blue portion to this called tapetum lucidum, but the whole layer itself is called the choroid coat. So in life, the choroid coat is covered completely by the retina. And then what sits on top of that would be this vitreous humor, this jelly-like material. So I remove the vitreous humor, and I folded up the retina, and I folded back the choroid coat. So that you can see this stiff, white outer part of the eye called the sclera. In addition, in this view, you can see the blind spot. It, it sort of looks like a puckered area in the retina. That's where the nerve fibers from the sensory receptor cells in the retina leave the back of the eyeball. You're blind in that spot because there aren't any sensory receptors, just nerve fibers. This is the anterior half of the eyeball. I've already removed the lens, so I'll get it out of the way. What this reveals is an, an opening, which is the pupil. The edge of that opening is the iris. It would be blue, green, brown, and human. You look a little further out and see a circle of material that has tiny ridges on it. That's the ciliary body. Suspensory ligaments connected the edge of the ciliary body to the lens, holding the lens in place. If I turn over the anterior portion of the eye, we can see the cornea. And the edge, the structure I'm, I'm lifting, attempting to lift here, is the conjunctiva. It runs from the inside of the eyelid and down onto the white of your eye, but it stops at the edge of the cornea.